Hello viewers, welcome to another project tutorial by Project Maker. In this video, I will be teaching you how we can perform basic carpal's prediction using linear regression model. So, without wasting any time, let's start. So, let's move to our destination folder. Let's start making our model. So, for this, I will open this folder in Jupyter Notebook. So, for that, I will just type CMD here and just type Jupyter Notebook so that the project will get open in Jupyter so the folder or project is open I will just click on the Jupyter file let's start to make a regression model so for making a regression model we have to import some basic libraries of python such as pandas, numpy, matplotlib for data visualization after that we will be loading the dataset in our program so for that I have written pt.read excel command for importing the data set and after that I will just simply return data.help which will print top 5 values or rows of the data set which is in front of you so here as you can see there are 5 rows and 26 columns so our data set has 26 columns and most of the columns are not of so use so we, we should remove those columns for building our model now let's take the information about the data set so how many rows are there is there any null value present in data set and so on so after typing data.info command everything after writing data.info command we come to conclusion that there is no null value present in data set and the data type of each row is also identical to us so there is no such need of big data cleaning here after that I have just printed data.shape so which will return the shape of the data so it has 205 rows and 26 columns and after that to build logistic regression model we have to find the correlation between the each columns so for that I use sns or c1 package of python to visualize the correlation between variables for that I have simply written plot.figure and pass pixels as 12 in it so this is 12 byte figure and just call heatmap method of c1 package and just type data.correlation and, and not equal to 2 so that this value will be visible to us and after that just I will the title of that visualization which is not so important so after that I have simply printed the result which is in front of this is the correlation of a column with another column in our data set so after analyzing and studying this data set I have removed some columns from our data set so that the accuracy of our model will be increased so let's check here here x i have written x equal to data dot drop so all these columns will be dropped from our data set that we will be using for prediction purpose don't worry i will give you the source code of this project as well as data set link in description so you can do this project after that i have just return y equal to data price so in y variable only the last column is present which is price column and in x variable all the columns are present except these columns as you can see and now i just printed the shape of these two variables so the shape of x is 205 and 14 and shape of y is 205 and 1 as you can see then i use train test built method of model SQLN package to split the data set for making prediction and after that I have created 4 variables x train x test y train y test and pass x and y variable in TTS method and make test size of 0.25 which is 75% which means that 75% of data will be used for training purpose and 25% for testing purpose and pass random state of 42 so that the data may get well shuffled between two divisions after that i have just printed the shape of every variable as you can see here so now let's make model using linear regression so i have created object of linear regression method in model variable and just written model dot fit and pass x train and y train value for generating the model so after this command our model will be 100 percent ready so i have passed equal to model dot predict and pass x test value here so that the comparison will be done between the actual result and predicted result and after that i have used 
mean absolute error mean square error and r2 score to find the accuracy of our model so the mean absolute error is 12770 and so on as you can see the mean absolute error is 2539 because the price of the car prediction may be in like that's why the value is so much but our r2 score is 0.79 percent which means the r model is 79 percent accurate and if we wish to pass user input value to this data set to make prediction you can use the following method which is pred2 equal to model dot predict and passed all the values as same which are mentioned in the above column here as you can see i have used this numbers from the first row of our data set which is this so you can type your own values and just check whether the prediction is correct or not so after giving the all values to our data set i have just printed red dot round two so round two will be just give only two values after point and as you can see the result is in front of you which is one three five seven nine four nine so this is the predicted value of car using our model so this was all about the project car price prediction using linear regression hope you like this video here comes the end of this video if you like this video then don't forget to share it with your family and friends thanks for watching this video